What's up, Aries? I'm Chris. Welcome to your October Taroscope. All right, so before we get started real quick, um, I did record an autumn forecast for all the signs. It has timestamps, so you can just go ahead and jump to your sign. Uh, check that out, it was really fun to do. Uh, I have descriptions of the cards that I'll be using in the comments, as well as a link to private readings if you would like to hit me up for one of those. That was funny, Aries. Right now, doing this, I'm getting a serious flashback to when I started this channel a year ago. I have been very consistent. It's been a personal journey of mine. I'm working on it, right? Second month in a row, I'm posting videos, right? <laughs> but I remember when I started this, I would, I was wearing the clothes I wore to work, doing it in my bedroom, a different bedroom, right? But it's like a restart. It's like a reset, and I think for all of us, right? For Aries too. I think that Aries, think back to a year ago, right? Think back to a year ago. My sense coming into this reading is that y'all are still dealing with a lot of the same shit that you were dealing with a year ago. The relationship that wasn't right, but you're still in it. The job that's sucking the life out of you, but you're still in it. The lifestyle, just the, the mindset, the way of thinking, the emotional place that you were in. Like, if none of those other two things resonate with you, I think at the very least, there's like a, an emotional place that maybe you thought by now you'd be more moved on from. My sense for you guys this month is it's about moving on. When I was starting this video, I almost wanted to say something like, hi ho Aries. But it was that feeling of like, just being ready to charge off into the sunset. Like the Lone Ranger, that's the Lone Ranger, right? Who has the high ho silver, is that right? Right now in October, first let me tell you how this is gonna go real quick, cause I'm switching up a little bit. Um, we're gonna start off with where you guys are coming into the month. Pull a couple cards to pull us through the month, roughly four cards for each week of October. Roughly, because I think astrologically, feel energies and stuff start to seep in different times and we feel at different times, right? Then we'll end with where you guys are coming out of the month and anything, any advice we can look forward to next month with like the room cards, right? Um, so Aries. I think that, oh, I'm gonna take that. This fell off as I was just shuffling. Seven of Wands. Good Aries energy, right? Fighting, handling your business, hanging in there, right? Pushing through. I almost want to say this, and please don't be offended if you've been going through it. I almost feel like you're not doing enough. Some of y'all are probably doing the most and want to like reach to the camera and strangle me right now. Or like thumbs down. I hate when people thumbs down the video. It's like, if you don't like it, just click off. Like it, there's almost like a nastiness to thumbs down in something, you know? Anyway, I feel like you guys aren't doing enough. I feel like you've been doing stuff. I feel like you've been moving forward, right? Making maybe milestones in life even. So then why would I feel like it's not enough? You know, because this month we have Venus retrograde. Venus, the planet of love and beauty and comfort and wealth, right? Going retrograde from the sign of Scorpio into the sign of Libra. What's happening here is that during this month and into the rest of the year, we're really evaluating what meaning our life has, right? Libra, and, I mean, uh, Venus and Scorpio needs meaning. Are these relationships meaningful? Is what I'm doing with my life meaningful? Is my life and my, my work full of passion, full of love? Full of depth, full of purpose. 
this to me is Aries just fighting, but in a going through the motions kind of way. And I think this month, we're gonna start to get a glimmer of what's next for you guys, right? What is the next level? When can you stop fighting? Or more, more better yet, where is your energy actually better applied? Now that might mean having to take your energy back from something else. Right, weighing what's giving, what's nurturing you and what's taking away. I know you guys are the sign of like boundless energy, but I think this month what you're gonna have to do is really think about your energy almost as if it's, you have a fixed amount of it, right? Which is something I've learned as I've gotten older. Like your energy is a pie chart. You have this much. And it's not necessarily that you have more or less, maybe on a given day, yes. But it's about how much of that pie chart your energy is going, what is your energy going to? So even visualize that for a second, right? Look at the pie chart of your life. If you have that circle of energy, what is getting what? Aries is ready, six of wands, ready to be more, ready to live in the glory that is your sign. Ready to be a boss, right? Ready to show off how powerful you are, how strong you are, right? Right now we're in Libra season. I'm doing the readings this month by a polarity, right? Aries and Libra are polarities of each other. They're opposites. Where Libra is concerned with partnerships and relationships, Aries is concerned with the self. It doesn't mean you're selfish, but it's, uh, it's about the individual, the ego, right? Which is very powerful, which... I and lots of people, especially who do like spiritual work, maybe envy that, right? That quality of being able to just do your thing without losing the love, right? Six of Wands is also to me a card of, of, of recognition, of public connection, right? So there's still connection, but it's almost like, this is like a very Aries card, right? Connection in relation to the, the badassness of who you are. So there is a pairing back, I see. If going from the seven to the six, I was just saying about checking your energy, guys. That's right in front of our face, right? It's like you had seven things that your energy was going to. And now you have six. And now those six, that one less wand, right? That one less thing to carry, that one less burden, that one less thing taking your energy is what makes or break your success going forward. I do feel like this is a big month for Aries to be success oriented. That could be in a lot of different ways, but for me primarily, I do feel career and business here. I feel like that fire, I feel like that, that self-actualization of who you are and what you want showing up in the external world. But what's gonna have to happen is that you have to do a real gut check. You have to do a real gut check on an emotional level even, right? And I know that's not necessarily the easiest thing for you, but look at what's at stake here. Ace of Pentacles, your future happiness, your future, your future in general, hope for your future, right? The Ace of Pentacles is the seed. It's the optimism and hope for the future. It's anticipation of what it can be. It's, um, you know, all the promises of future success. Do you see how it, it goes from like, this energy is almost now being invested in this in this uh, pentacle, right? Building long term, Aries. Long term. So it could be that your relationships, for better or for worse, do need attention. Right, almost an assessment of, is this long term, and if so, what does it take from me? To make that work. A lot of that, guys, might be uh, directed back to your yourself. Who you are, how you feel, what you're doing, right? Aries sometimes has a tendency to fix it on other people and what they're doing, right? To want to lead so badly and sometimes having a hard time leading self. 
But Aries, I think what this month is calling for is for you to live the example, to be the example, right? To be the example. To not fight. This is a safe space for you guys. This is a place where you feel powerful. But which in the end of the day is actually more powerful, right? Fighting, arguing, raw all the time, right? Sure, you can, you're can. you a survivor and you're strong and well, well, you can fight the battle, but Ace of Pentacles is about investing in winning the war. Not fighting battles, right? The war of your life. Your prosperity, your family's prosperity, your loved one's prosperity, right? So Aries, how do we get you to this place, right? What is it going to take for you guys to stop fighting and start cooperating? I had a feeling coming into this that networking and partnerships, right? Especially business ones could be very fruitful for you guys this month. partnership right what can kind of help you get out of that fighting space someone to get you out of your head that could be a partner that could be i mean like a, a, a romantic partner right that could be a therapist that could be business partner right because look at what we're moving into aries Empress. This is perfect because towards the end of the month, first of all, perfect for two reasons, right? Right? Because Venus is what Venus represents Empress, right? Love, money, right? The comforts of life. Being a provider, but providing for yourself first and foremost, right? But more than anything, it's about being stable. Because what I was just thinking about also is that this represents Taurus because of its association with Venus, right? You can also correlate that to Taurus and Libra, right? So we have a Taurus full moon coming up. The end of the month, right? Once we actually get into Scorpio season, we have a Taurus full moon. And so I think what we're looking at here, the third card in the spread here, we're towards the end of the month, guys. I think that you are gonna be in a place where you're ready to actually manifest Material abundance, where you maybe have even gotten a taste for a little extra money, for a little recognition, for a little bit of the glory that you've been seeking, from a little bit of respect from other people. If you guys are interested in entrepreneurship, this is a fantastic month to invest in that building your own abundance, right? With these two cards. But Aries, I also want to say, don't forget to be nurturing. Don't forget to be loving, right? Because we are in Libra season. And one of the qualities of Libra is sort of being a two-way street for energy, right? You get what you give. Libra wants to be loved, they have to show love. Libra wants, uh, it's like embodying the thing that you want. If you wanna be surrounded by love, Aries, you have to reach out, give love, right? If you wanna be surrounded by abundance, you have to, in your own life, start creating it for yourself. Saving money, moving up the ladder at your job, whatever it takes, uh, setting out on that new work project. What you give is what you're going to get this month. Wrapping it up with the Knight of Wands. Ambition. Almost arrogance, but in a way that if Aries has been suffering or struggling, I like. Now, there could also be, you know, a fire sign figure that plays into this. 
the way that, you know, the Empress is looking at the Knight of Wands, it's almost as if he's like a suitor. Right, so some of you might be getting like love offers from another fire sign, which I like for you, right? Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, but I think this is high ho silver. Look at it, even. It's like a white, a white buck. High ho silver, riding off into the sunset. I think that you guys are ready to do what it takes to. Be your best selves. I mean, look at all these cards here. We have all wands and earth energy. This is a month about ambition. This is a month about your bag. This is a month for moving forward. How do you do that? First and foremost, I think you have to let go of anger as powerful. Actually, let me sit, let me let me retract that. If you can use your anger constructively to motivate you, to create boundaries for yourself, right? To protect yourself, to protect the things that matter to you, to protect your energy first and foremost, Aries. If you're going to be mad, you're gonna be angry, use it to establish boundaries. Use it to tell people what's not okay, right? Use it to protect your energy. That's powerful Knight of Wands energy, right? That kind of assertion, that kind of, uh, uh, Assertiveness, rather, is what it, right, I should have said, right? But this can go wrong when he's just lashing out, right? When he's just uh, frustrated. I think a lot of you guys need to figure out this month an outlet for your anger. I think it's a great month to work out more. I think it's a great month to, hell, fucking take up boxing or something, you know, something that lets you just be mad. But in a way that's channeled, you know, in a way that's controlled, in a way that is productive rather than destructive. So if you've been fighting Aries, if you've been angry, this is the month to find well, what is causing that and to let it go. Because look at where the month is ending up. Success, look at, look at all these cards of abundance and success here. Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles, Empress, Six of Wands, this is a month Aries for you to be on fire and for you to really like take life by the horns there's almost a feeling here of complacency this is similar to what I said to Libra but different in a way that Libra does like keeps themselves in place with their minds right they think that oh I'm going through it I'm struggling I'm suffering I'm growing internally but like they mistake that that suffering is growth they mistake that that pain and hurt and that mental like craziness is actually growth right you guys do it through kind of your actions right kind of like saying oh well like I did this I did this and did this and it didn't work out and it's like you're just spinning your wheels And I think the end of the month, Aries, you're going to kind of be done with the things that have kept you feeling heavy. You're going to be done with being in this place because you're going to start to feel the fortune come back. You're going to start to feel love. You're going to start to feel connection. And then you're not going to need to do all that anymore. You're not going to have to you know, like be all worked up anymore. Let things go easier, right? Move forward more readily. But ironically here, there's a sense of, uh, of lack of control too with the Wheel of Fortune, right? Uh, of, of going in the direction of fate, like the path of least resistance. This is very much a month, I think, for you guys of just like, I already know what needs to happen. Now I just have to do it. Bottom of the deck, same thing for Libra. Four of Wands. really desiring that that safe place within yourself within your home desiring comfort desiring stability desiring a happy home i think above everything else you may have been feeling aries like you don't have a happy home right now but it takes letting this go it takes letting the fire 
in your heart go. Stop holding on to pain, Aries. Stop holding on to struggle. Stop holding on to the limited ideas. It's almost like you guys say or whatever that you like are deserving of this and you want this and you want that, but it's like almost there's a voice in your back of your head that's like, doesn't actually believe it's possible. And our rune going forward for the month, we have Lagos. This is the rune of the lake. This represents intuition. Remember I was just saying about how it's almost like you already know what needs to be done. If you could wave a magic wand tomorrow to fix like the top three problems in your life that are plaguing you, I think you would know this. But Libra, I mean, Aries, this is also what I'm asking is to kind of this month get in touch with your emotional reality, right? To not ignore it. Like this Venus retrograde is gonna not let you ignore your emotional reality anymore. And I always joke how Aries like only has one mode and is angry. A Aries is sad, no, I'm angry. Aries is hurt, no, I'm angry. Aries is lonely, no, what do you mean, I'm angry right and it doesn't mean that you have to be a whimpering little little sack of emotions but you do need to know what is hurting you you need to be able to say what is hurting you you need to be able to distance yourself and stop thinking you're so tough you can take anything because this is also the rune of the subconscious right so all that shit just gets shoved down deeper and shoved down deeper and eventually comes out, right? This is what I was saying. The, a, a, king, a knight of wands who shoves all that shit down is going to be a wild asshole. That guy's a dick. That guy's not making moves. He's hurting people because he's hurt, right? But we don't have it upside down. We have it upright, which means that you guys are going to channel that energy, that passion, productively if it takes separating yourself from people right now there's a little bit of besides the socialness that comes in the beginning of the month there is a little bit of independence not necessarily solitude but sovereignty right but at the end of the month your financial situation is going to start to look better you're going to start to feel the change you're going to start to feel optimistic. It's because of things being let go. It's almost as if this wheel is being held in place. And now it let go and now it can slowly start to spin. Yeah. All right, Aries. I think that was a good reading. I really um, think that this is a great month. And I think the, the energy here, it's like all want. You guys are fired up. Accomplishing these things that you want to get done is not going to be that hard for you because you're just ready to be done with it. You're ready to be done with your old way of life. You're ready to accept abundance and accept success and accept love and accept the kind of relationships that you deserve. The kind of life you deserve, right? The home life, the, the, the work life, all of that stuff. You're going to know what you deserve this month and go for it, right? Knowing what you deserve, knowing your worth, and going for it. Making the hard choices. Doing the hard thing. Yeah? All right, Aries, I love you so much. Um, I think I forgot to mention I did autumn video. No, I think I did tell. If I, if, whatever I mentioned or not, uh, I did autumn forecast for, for the fall, so check that out on my page. Um, anything else I got for you guys? Nope. I think that's great. I think you guys are going to have a great month. I'll probably be putting out a Halloween video later in the month, so... Look out for that. In the meantime, Aries, I love you. I think you're going to be great. Um, uh, uh, stop liking the pain. Stop. Don't revel in the hurt. Be more. Do more. And it's going to come faster than you expected. My meditation guru always says, guru. We joke, guru. Uh, <laughs> All of this or something even better. More than you can even imagine is possible, right? Being open to receiving that. All right, I love you guys so much. Have a great October and I'll talk to you soon.